My name is Sandy Earl. I'm on my way home from racing through the Big Bend area of Texas at a country called at a race called No Country for Old Men. The race starts and ends in Alpine, Texas, and it goes through some of the most beautiful, rugged country. Big skies, high desert, rugged mountains, much of it right along the Rio Grande. We, there's almost no traffic. We probably counted more wildlife than cars. There's a distance for everyone, a 200 race, a 400 mile race, and a 1,000 mile race. So y'all come out, have a good time. The race director is Dex Took, who's a Ram legend in his own right. He's the author of Unfinished Business, a book about his quest to complete Ram. He's designed this race to be tough because he knows that tough is what it takes. At the same time, he's made the race as low cost as he can. It's down to earth and super welcoming. His wife, Joni, is an amazing artist. She makes all of the awards by hand and they are, let me tell you, they are treasure. Uh, October brings changeable weather to Big Bend, so you might get just about anything from searing heat to freezing fog. This year we saw moderate temperatures through most of the race with some thunder showers. Tuesday brought some real heat to the southern part of the course. Those of us like me who were tor finishing toward the back of the pack on the thousand mile race got treated to some horrific, extremely cold headwinds on our way down back to Alpine. Results wise, the 200 mile race was a stumper to me. We had seven people entry, enter, and only two finished. Andrew Willis, who finishes everything, won the men's race in a blistering 10 hours and 39 minutes. And Carol Pope was the second and only fe uh, female finisher. 400 mile race is actually 383 miles. It, that's because that's Dex's race number. It was a bit more of a success. Five of the eight people finished. Gary Apple won in 2510. And uh, ultra cycling legend Sylvia Moss was not far behind. She took the women's win at 27.55. Uh, in the 1,000 mile race, Russ Kelsey came from over the pond and he blew everyone away. He finished under 80 hours, which is something really special. Uh, Phil Fox was second. Given his uh, really, really fast PBP this year, I figured right out of the gate he was the guy to go for, look out for, and I was almost right. He was done about 82. Third was Darina Vaccaroni. She was the uh, wi uh, women's winner and set the uh, set the women's record at 84.55. Um, then I was the last finisher um, at 94 hours and 50 minutes. So that established a recumbent bike record. Out of our nine uh, starters, six finished. That was a 100% finishing rate, unless your name happened to be Chris. There were three Chris's in the race and it was not Christmas. Both Chris Davies and Chris Pyle raced. They're planning on uh, Ram next year, so this was a training race for them. And then the third Chris was Chris Potter. Chris was racing near me almost all the way. He's the first person to attempt this race while battling multiple cirrhosis. And if it wasn't for the crazy, crazy headwinds at the end, he would have been an official finisher. Uh, he was awarded the Murder Maverick Steer Award, which Dex gives out for courage and sportsmanship. And he's using this race to help fundraise for his organization, Team Wigman, to buy some uh, equipment to help more people with MS get out on the road. Um, cycling has been proven to really help people with MS. So on a personal note, this, this uh, race marked 20 years in ultra cycling for me, and so it was kind of special. I took Dex's No Country for Old Men rugged theme and I turned it on his head. Uh, so my race was No Country and Old Women and I got some absolute legends of women's ultra cycling to serve as crew, uh, Sharon Stevens and Patty Jo Struve. Uh, then the rest of my crew had some, uh, a lot of Ram crewing experience. I had four strong women and Bill who put up with a lot, God bless him. Um, I had a female video videographer, a young lady who just graduated from Sul Ross State in Alpine, and I even hired a female coach. Kelly's so good. I mean, I would have hired Kelly if she was a guy. I really would have. She's that good. But um, I was really glad to keep with the theme there. Um, thing about women is we just keep getting tougher, the tougher the going gets. Uh, everybody pulled together and uh, problem solved, and we had a great time. and. A lot of inappropriate humor and uh, got through it and we really had a great time. 
this uh, No Country for Old Men or No Country for Old Women is a great, great race. And uh, y'all come. I'm Sandy Earl reporting for the Ohio Ram Show. <laughs>